This is a demonstration of a sulfite drop count test kit using endpoint ID procedures. The first step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to gather an accurate sample. The smallest change in sample size will lead to inaccurate results. Before gathering your sample, it's important to rinse the vial three times with the sample to be tested. This minimizes the chance of contamination from a previous titration. To get an accurate sample size, you want to hold the vial close to eye level. Once you feel you have an accurate sample, place the vial on a level surface and bend down to eye level. When performing a drop count titration, a white background can provide contrast to better see the color changes. A cabinet tray or a white paper towel can provide that contrast. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to add one drop of phenylphthalein indicator. The bottle contains a dropper tip so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, it's important to swirl the vial to make sure the reagents are properly mixed. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to add the starch acid powder one scoop at a time until the sample is changed from pink to colorless. It's important to swirl the vial after each scoop to make sure the powder is completely dissolved. Once the sample is turned colorless, add two more scoops of powder and swirl the vial. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to perform the titration. The bottle of titrant contains a dropper tip, therefore it's important to hold the bottle vertically to make sure you get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each drop of titrant, you want to swirl the vial to make sure the sample is properly mixed. According to the endpoint ID procedure, the titration is complete when the sample is changed from colorless to blue.